Hi, I'm Cholo Bikemonger. Today we're going to take a look at three mechanical principles of single speeding. We're going to take a look at your chain line, we're going to take a look at chain tension, and then we're going to take a look at your teeth. One of the common problems is chain line. You want a really clean chain line. You want all and you want your rear cog, you want your jockey wheel and the chain ring all to be in perfect line. Your chain will stay on, your bike won't be making funny noises. Now there's two ways of doing this. You can either move the chain ring at the front or you can move your cog at the back. Don't be afraid to put your chain ring on the, in the inside position where the middle ring would normally go on a triple setup. And uh, if that still doesn't work, um, we sell spaces so you can offset it from anything like 1.2 millimeters through to about seven or so. At the back, um, move your cog around. If you have spaces, lots of little spaces, you can get it absolutely perfect. Some spacer kits come with two large ones, some come with lots of little ones. I prefer the ones with lots of little ones. And uh, your tensioner, piece of cake, just make sure it's in the right place, eh? Chain tension, that's a big deal. We've got to get the chain tension right. It's probably the most important thing when you're setting up a single speed. I'm just going to show you a little tweak so we can get your tensioner nice and sweet, all right? Maybe your chain's skipping off when you go over rocks. Perhaps you don't have enough chain tension. So what we're going to do is we're going to beef this up. We simply stick an Allen key in here. We unwind it. We take the chain off at the front and we move this to a position a little bit further back than where it was before and lock it down about, about that. And we just put the chain back on. That has a lot more tension going on. Now, just like a crocodile or a shark, having lots of teeth is pretty important. Here's a 12 tooth, here's a 20 tooth. This one's carrying the load over five or six teeth. Here we've got 10. So this is gonna last twice as long. Your chain's less likely to come off. It's a much more secure setup. I always prefer to go larger than smaller. And the same with the front. A 36 tooth chain ring is gonna last longer than a 32 tooth chain ring. Okay, here we have three cogs. First point is the Surly is a single speed specific one with nice tall teeth. This is designed to keep your chain on. This is an old XT one, it's designed to to throw your chain off. Don't ever use one of these from a single speed. Always get the right kit. Second point, a fresh chain, um, fresh cog, fresh chain ring, fresh chain is, will sound lovely. A worn one like this, you can see that these teeth are somewhat hooked. That was a noisy cog towards the end of its life. So when stuff wears out, replace it. And replace it with the right stuff. So there you go. Three basic things. Chain line, chain tension, and make sure you use the right kit in good condition everything will be fine. Well thanks for checking us out. Why don't you go and have a butchers at www.childabitemonger.com a purveyor of damn fine fixed and single speed cycle produce. Cheers. <laughs>